That's a fine how do you do, isn't it? But what that means is in the resurrection you're going to be just like Jesus Christ and the angels, and therefore you've got to be 33 years old and be a male. And that's where all the great scholars just cash in and cash out and go pay bingo or something else. They can't handle it. You're going to have a body like Christ. We look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile bodies and fashion them like according to his glorious body. You see why they call them sons of God? Because even the female believers in Jesus Christ in this age, and since Acts chapter 2, accepted Christ, Christ is in them. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's male. And then you tell somebody that, boy, they're telling that every woman who's saved in this age winds up just like Jesus Christ physically, they just cash in and quit and say, heresy, 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 because they're blind and lazy and stupid. That's what the book teaches. If there are any women in heaven, they'll remain out in, in eternity uh, doing what Adam and Eve were told to do before they fell, and those will come out of the tribulation and the millennium. They won't come out of the church age. Because the church age, the glorified body you get is the body of a 33-year-old sinless male. That isn't taught in any Christian school in the country, so don't worry about it. They're not that smart, and they don't believe the book to that extent.